Are you looking to move away from shared hosting because it's just too limited and you want to move on to VPS? Well, you're going to need a cloud manager or a VPS manager. This one that I'm going to be talking about, it's called Server Avatar, and that's what I've been using for over a year. So I have two servers running on Server Avatar, and well, I'm happy with it. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to add your own VPS and launch a WordPress site. So let's get started with this video. Okay, this is Server Avatar's site, and I'm going to leave the link in the description in case you guys want to check it out. Now, there's a coupon, a limited coupon that I have for the first 100 signups. There's a $20 credit amount that's going to be available when you add that coupon. So this is the cloud management simplified, and yes, it is simple because it's super easy to launch. Now, let me open up my Server Avatar dashboard, and this is what I've been using for over a year. I have two VPS that I'm using right now, and it's super easy to get started. What I'm going to do on this video is that I am going to jump into a brand new team account. This is where I don't have any servers and I'm going to show you how to get started, well, from zero. So what I want to do right now is connect a server and you have several options available. If the available option from Amazon Light Sail, DigitalOcean and Vulture is not available, but you have the details to the VPS. So if the one that you are using is not available, for example, I use SSD nodes, you can just use the server details. So right now I'm going to use a server from Linodes and what you would do when you get started, it's just this, connect the server and select the server name. I'll just say test for a video because I just got this VPS for this reason, just to make this video for you. So you have three selections here. You got optimized lamp, which is Apache, which is a really stable platform. You got optimized lamp, which is Nginx and OLS, which is open light speed. Now, I do recommend that before you launch your VPS, find out which one would be the best for you. In my case, I use one with Apache. You saw that I use two VPS because I think it's more stable and I use it for sometimes the PHP scripts. And I use Open Lightspeed where I'm launching all my WordPress sites because it takes advantage of that um, system, okay? So in this case, I'll just use Apache for this. And what I have to do to connect is I have to add the IP that I have from my VPS that I've purchased. So let me add my IP address. There we go. And I do have the root password. So let me add the root password really quickly. There we go. And I'm going to connect now. Let's give it a few seconds to actually connect and make sure that everything's fine before it actually starts installing Apache on this VPS. Now, benefits of a VPS. First of all, you have way more control than you would with shared hosting. One of the things I hate about shared hosting is the limitations. Some of those limitations come with, for example, the limitation of the file amount. Now, they might sell you a shared hosting with unlimited websites. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? But the downside is that they limit you on the files that you can have on that shared hosting. So what does that mean when you start adding three, four, five websites and they start growing? Well, you start getting, you start hitting that limitation. So you can't add any more websites. So a lot of limitations come with shared hosting. So there we go. It just connected it. So it's the IP address and installing, it's installing Ubuntu 20.04. Now it's going to download the package and install it on the VPS. So server avatar starts working and you can add your website. Now for this particular um, load, we are going to give it some time and I'll come back. So let's just wait for that to get installed. There we go. It just finalized installing all the software that it needs in that VPS so it can run server avatar. So now we have control of that VPS and everything is going to be done with this. This is the VPS manager that I was talking about. This is where, where, where we are going to begin. So this line node that I just installed the BPS has these specs, okay? So it's an AMD 32 core processor. So it's a total of two, two cores, UTC time zone, the uptime. I'm, I can restart it from here. I don't have to go to line, line nodes. The server provider is custom, the web server operating system. I can enable firewall, which would be a really good recommendation. And I can see the server load, the memory usage, disk usage, and swap memory, okay? The applications that I have installed, I don't have anything installed right now, which is what I'm going to do right now. I am going to install a WordPress site on this, okay? So I have all this information of the basic analytics there. Let's go into applications. 
and I'm going to, first I'm going to connect one of my domains into this, okay? So what I use is Cloudflare and what I'm going to need, it's, it's the IP address. So let me click on it, I copy it, point into Cloudflare, and I am going to add an A record. And for this, I'm not connecting my main domain. I am going to use a subdomain, but the process is the same. Let me remove this proxy status for now. And I'm going to call this test for video. And this is going to be the link to my site, testforvideo.sasmaster.net. And the IP address that I need to copy, save. There we go. Let's go back into server avatar. And let's go ahead and click on create. There we go. The application name, I'm just going to name it test for test for video. Sorry. Um, primary domain. Yes, I'm going to leave it as my domain. Or I can use a test domain and I don't have to do that connection. I can create a website using the test server avatar um, domain. So the primary domain for this, well, it's the one I've just connected on Cloudflare. Test for video dot sasmaster.net, all right? Do I want to also add www version from, of this domain? No. And what type of application do I want to install? In this case, I want to give you a demo of WordPress because I want to show you how easy this is. So in this case, I'll use WordPress. But yes, you can also install a PHP script on this PHP site, and it's super easy to do. Um, the other thing that you would have to do with the PHP one is at, create a database aside from that. If I select WordPress, it's going to automatically create that database for me. So the title for this site, again, test for video. The email for this, I'll just say test at test.com. There we go. The WordPress username, I'll just leave my email. I'll add a random password, something simple. Do I want to show advanced options? Yes, just to show you this. The database server, the current one, I don't want to install it on another one. The pH version that I want to install for this WordPress site, do I want to use the latest or I'm okay with 7.4, which is really stable. I'll use 7.4. Custom web group, I'll leave it as it is. Application user, do I want to add another one? The username for the, this is for the database, I'll keep it as it is. Okay, so the username, I'll put admin just to make it easier. Create the application. Oh, hold on. Let me put this. It doesn't want any spaces. There we go. Create application. Oh, remind me later. Okay, it's working. It started loading. There we go. We've just installed a WordPress site. And before I jump into these settings, I want to actually show you the WordPress site. So this is the domain. Let's go open in a new link. There we go, it just loaded, that easy. Now let me go into my admin side of this domain, wp-admin. There we go, I'll add my password that I've just created. Also, you are going to get email with this information. Hold on, I think I've added the wrong one or I need to enable SSL. Let's SSL this, um, let's go into SSL certificate. Let's automate, automatic install. This is free from server avatar. So let's wait for that to get installed and I'll go back. Okay, so it has been installed and I'll force HTTPS. So it always uses that. And let's go back to the site. Let's refresh it, continue. Okay, there we go. Now I have the little lock because it's now SSL. There we go. Let me put in the password. Let's go click and log in. And that should be logging in. There we go. I am logged in on this website that I've just installed right now. So what you just witnessed on this video is that I installed a BPS and I installed a WordPress site. Just like that, I have a WordPress site working on a BPS and not on a shared hosting. So there's no limitations. I'm using it here. And the speeds are going to vary depending on the BPS that you purchase. Okay. So, okay, let's go back into the server avatar dashboard. Like I mentioned, super easy to get started. I'll have my uptime monitor here once it starts working. If I need to use the SFTP to load in files, I can grab these credentials. Okay. So I'll use this for host, username, password, and I have to enable this. Okay. If I don't enable this, you don't have access to it and you won't have, and you won't be able to use the SFTP. Okay. In this case, I'll leave it disabled because just for security purposes, but if you need to use it, enable it when you have to use it. Okay. 
So again, let's go into domains. In this case, this is the domain that I'm using. This is the domain that I can use for the WordPress sites that I want to install in something, just demo sites, test sites, and all, all of that. I can add domains to this. There's a stagging area if you want to create some sites in stagging and then work on them. There's a file manager. So for this one that I've just installed, let's go into public HTML. And here's the WordPress installation that I've just used. There we go. I can go look at files. I can do a couple of things. Something that's not available yet, but they, they are going to add it is the load in files. So I can't upload files. I can delete them, I can edit them, but I can't upload as of this video, okay? The SSL certificate, well, you saw that in this video. I installed it, super easy to do. PHP settings in case I need to modify it. So in case that I've said, you know what, um, you know what, I wanna do 8.0. So I'll update it to 8.0. The settings for the PHP, so if I want to, to upgrade the upload max file size, in case um, there's a file that you need to load bigger than 128 megabytes, well, you just update it here. The disabled functions, if you need one of these functions, you can remove it and it'll enable it. Now, this is really common that you edit the disabled functions for PHP sites because sometimes they have uh, different requirements and you could just disable them from here. The application log, you can view it from here, fetch log if you like. The Cloudflare integration, I'll, I'll have to grab my bearer token and the zone ID to integrate with Cloudflare. The backup system, this is a really cool system. I, I love it because it gives me that peace of mind of having a backup of my sites, okay? So I can schedule the automatic backups. I can backup file type, the file system, the application, the file type, database file. And in this case, for example, I only have one site, so it's selected there. The storage that I can use, I can use server avatar, I could pay for it, or you can see the pricing right here. Or I can use Google Drive, connect to it, and send my files over there. So if you are already paying for Google Drive, well, you're good to go. Just connect and back up your site over there. If not, server, uh, server avatar option, monthly backup price, 0 0.07 uh, cents per gigabyte, total free backups, 20, total backup size, 150. So if your site is smaller than 150 or you just back up database, well, you're good to go with the free backup. But if you need more, that's the price that you're going to use. There's a site clone option available also if you need to clone the site to a different domain or something like that, that's available also there. Now, in case you want to check out the databases, see this option on the top. Here's the databases. There we go. This is the only one that I have installed on this team section. Do I want remote access? No. Do I want to backup? I can do it so there, database users, and that'll give it the remote access. Um, reasons to use remote access would be if you are using another type of external backup, or if you need to access that database from external, you need to create a database user. Those are kind of things that you wouldn't be able to do on shared hosting, okay? So the team accounts, you saw that already. If you want to view the other team, the team accounts, for example, I have them right here. You saw the first one, which is the one I really use for my live sites. I have it there. And if you need to look for API documentation, you'll find it there, knowledge base. And the coupon that I mentioned in the beginning for the first 100 users that gives you $20 credit, you can apply it in the billing section, not the credit section. So just heads up, uh, in the billing section, that's where you're going to add that coupon code to get those $20 to get started, check it out, find out if it's the right service for you. And like I mentioned before, it's super easy to get started and use. There's also integrations for the cloud storage. I'm gonna show you really quickly. These are the ones that you have available. Google Drive, Dropbox, Amazon S3, Wasabi, cloud, cloud platforms, well, the ones you saw when I installed the, the BPS, all right? Or the custom one where you have the data to install the BPS. But just like that, that is server avatar. That's where you can manage all your BPS in one single place and install all the sites that you want and as long as it can hold the load with that VPS. But there you go, super easy to install, get started and start using server avatar. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next videos.